hi all thank you very much once again uh, to watching my video this video is going to explain how you can validate a new folder uh, by saying that uh, what is the benefit you will get that we, we are going to cover at the end of the session before going to validate an action for the particular new folder I want to discuss something in the folder of the Sage X3 level. This is the f location where my Sage application is installed, and uh, you can see that in this application there is a fol uh, folders folder where you have all the folders within the Sage X3 applications. Now you cannot find out a folder called study which we created in the previous uh, our video so how we can establish that new folder within sage x3 to access and to start the configuration that's what we are going to look now for that yes you have to go to the function called uh, folders under general parameters and this function is uh, open for you and you can select your folder which folder you want to establish under uh, the root directory of uh, sage x3 application so it's a just a simple click of uh, a button validation so system is uh, giving an information about that we are going to do that folder validation i'm simply clicking ok button now system will start the validation in terms of dictionaries tables screens object and global variables and everything that means it's copying the data all the data from the reference folder that is nothing but x3 folder to this folder this process will take uh, some couple of hours to move the basic information that we need to in the study folder from sage x3 folder okay the folder uh, validation is over and the sage x3 is generated the log file uh, after the validation it's a successful validation but uh, there are some cases uh, uh, definitely some errors can came up so those errors you can view it in that uh, log file but for uh, our uh, validation we not got any error but there are some uh, warning messages are there uh, saying that inactive tables about this uh, frankly speaking i was not uh, I am not aware about uh, what uh, this table it is but definitely in my past experience this will not uh, stop you to you know implement finance or distribution or manufacturing module so uh, by saying that uh, we now the folder is generated uh, within sage x3 even though still you can't find out the study folder here uh, to bring that we need to do another one action that uh, action i will do it uh, to the next video that is nothing but how we can create the end point uh, so that time we can uh, see that folder uh, in this list and you can choose it and you can start the configuration okay having said that uh, the folder validation is completed so definitely the folder you can find it under this folder where my sage application is installed so this is the folder where you can see that study folder which uh, system created after that validation so when a folder definition record is validated for the first time there are some actions happened in the system to bring uh, the study folder in such a way uh, to start the configuration 
uh, first one is the folder direct trace will be created that is nothing but we already saw that this is the folder directive study and uh, the tables necessarily tables are created back end in sql and for that masters and uh, term, uh, sage x3 uh, rules and everything plus the transactional tables then uh, object di dictionaries uh, are copied from the reference folder that is nothing but x3 from the first video my first video about the folder creation if you have gone to if you have a look on that definitely you will understand what is that uh, sage x3 thank you for watching uh, this video i will come up with the next video about uh, how to create the endpoint to list out that in my endpoint list thank you very much once again